Greetings viewers, I am Eric the Car Guy here at Mala today with Charles, humble mechanic. And why are we here today, Charles? So Eric, great question. We've gotten a lot of feedback from technicians on servicing vehicles with 1234YF refrigerant systems and that it takes a lot longer to do the services than maybe 134A. So today we're gonna walk through five steps of the 1234YF service and why it takes a little bit longer. In order to service these systems, you're going to need four things, starting with safety glasses. You will also need a dedicated AC recharge and recovery machine with a refrigerant identifier, which can be separate in a standalone unit. Also, you're going to need a leak detection device, which, as it happens, comes with the purchase of this unit. Step number one is actually a new step. We need to identify and pressure check the system. We can identify the refrigerant with something like the standalone unit, or our machine over here actually has the identifier built in. We want to be sure that the refrigerant we're recovering is 98% pure 1234YF, and it's going to do a quick pressure check to make sure that there's refrigerant in the system to recover. Once all of that is good, then you can begin step two, which is the recovery process and that's gonna take a little bit longer than what you're used to. Once the machine is finished recovering all the refrigerant from the system, then you can begin the repairs on the vehicle. Step three is going to be leak testing the system. The machine will automatically pull it into a vacuum and hold that vacuum for a minimum of five minutes to be sure that the vehicle's AC system will hold that refrigerant charge. Once the machine has determined that it has passed the vacuum test, it's then time to move on to step four, which is a pre-charge of the system. And that's where the machine will add a small amount of refrigerant into the AC system. After that's complete, we can then move on to step five, where we activate the AC system in the vehicle, and then we go in and physically check for leaks. It's important to note that both of those two steps are brand new, so that's where some extra time is gonna come in, and those are also SAE required steps with 1234YF. Once we've completed our checks inside the vehicle and have determined there aren't any more leaks, it's then time to proceed on to step six, the recharge. This step is fully automated. All we need to do is press one button, the machine will remove the pre-charge from the vehicle and then charge the vehicle up with the correct amount of refrigerant. Once that's done, we can get our printout, do our AC performance test and be sure that our repair was successful. I'm Eric the Car Guy, he's Humble Mechanic. Thanks so much for watching.